up everybody welcome back to Pearl Publications YouTube channel on this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing and I have a zine that is, was a great read grunge a story of high school in the 90s a really good zine a really good read but first I have to warn you guys that there are some trigger warnings uh, some of the content that is covered in the zine goes from bullying to depression to suicide so it is a very very deep uh, zine and we're really going to get into this today so now that you've been warned let's go ahead and get into this this is where i died this is where i left the world this is my ask for the question did i want to kill myself well at this time yes now i just wanted to piss off as many people as possible and make them think make them think about war hunger aids health crisis, religion, politics, humanity as a whole. I need to find a reason I remember to looking at this thing and thinking to myself, this is not right. This should not have happened. From Somalia to Yugoslavia war, there was something behind every corner. At this time, shit was going down. But then, I think it always But I will like never get over that look. That look of why haven't you succeeded? When you are the damned, you don't bother to try, but the damned will have their day, I hope. So I don't think I said who this zine is by. It's actually by Chris Chaos. Information will be in the show notes per usual. And his actual name is Christopher J. Guerrero. I have reviewed his Porn Shop Clerk, which I absolutely love Porn Shop Clerk. And this is just another zine that I genuinely enjoyed a lot. And a lot of the things that, that Chris does well as a writer is that he's so descriptive that you really feel a sense of that world that he's talking about. This zine, and, and at that, this zine has less to do with grunge and more to do with his personal life and what he was going through, and he uses grunge as kind of the setting. A lot of what he's saying in here as far as the world is absolutely true. And he, there's a chapter in here about his junior year, and he talks about Kurt Cobain's death. For Chris in this, he talks about that as a big... Um, Kind of like a like a marker historically and it's true you know what i mean it definitely was and that's my point of like chris kind of writes like an anthropologist in a lot of ways and and, and i just love the way he writes because these first-hand accounts on this microcosm of of reality and it's just so well done and a lot of it is really written from a very raw madman perspective because it's so human it's it's a very very human uh depiction of all these things and the narrative, just the, the way he structures, the way he talks, it's a very, very human form of writing that I think is, is amazing because we live in a world with a lot of fluff and we live in a world where where people want to bite their tongues. And then the other as aspect of it is that they say what they think they should as opposed to what they really think or feel. And I feel that Chris has this way of talking in a very practical, very honest way. And that's what I want from a writer that I read. I want I want an honest depiction about this stuff. And this is this is well done. Once again, mental health, depression, suicidal thoughts, his his feelings of betrayal, loneliness, isolation. It's stark stuff to really tap into, you know what I mean? And like I said, like he really writes it in a way where you feel this. And those are dark things to feel. I love the way Chris writes. If you guys get the chance, go ahead and check it out. Once again, the information will be in the show notes. Uh, beyond that, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Lights.